Hey guys, it's the Med Studia and today we'll be looking at universities to apply to if you've achieved a low UCAT. Application to medicine is all about being strategic. Every university has its own application process that provide more weightage on different aspects of your application. Some on the UCAT, others on academic performance, personal statements, etc. Just a disclaimer that the information provided in this video is based on the time it was recorded. Please make sure to regularly check the official university sources in order to see if there are any changes or updates. The video also does not include every single university that you may be eligible for, but includes a few you could consider. All the resources and references that I've used for images and information will be in the description box below. Based on the 2021 cohort, the University Clinical Aptitude Test have released their interim results. The 10th decile is the highest 10% and the 1st decile is the bottom 10%. Usually a score of less than 2400 is considered as a low UCAT score. But this can fluctuate every year and it doesn't mean that you shouldn't apply for medicine, so don't be disheartened. Now let's have a look at some universities that you should consider if this is the case for you. The universities listed are not in any particular order, so let's get started. Firstly, we have Cardiff University. On their School of Medicine admissions policy for entry into 2022, they've stated information about the UCAT. There is no minimum UCAT or GAMSAT threshold score that applicants must receive. On their website, they've explained that points will be given on your academic performance. So if you've achieved a 9, 8 or an A star, you'll receive 3 points. If you've achieved a 7 or an A, that will be 2 points, etc. Next up, we have Birmingham University. The selection process consists of providing all applicants with an overall score. This is made up of the weighted score of three components including the academic, UCAT and contextual score. So the highest weightage is to the academic poll, which includes 45%, then the UCAT with 40% and 15% for contextual. Moving on to specifics, they provide a score of 4 if you've achieved an 8 or a 9 or an A star. There's no minimum UCAT cutoff score and is instead based on the decile. Before we move on to the next university in the video, these are just a few of the universities that you might want to consider if your UCAT score is considered low. If you guys found this video useful, comment down below for a part 2 which will include more universities. Now let's have a look at Keele University. The 2022 entry criteria is currently under review so please continue to check their website for further details. Based on the 2021 entry, Kiel have stated that they tried to take a holistic approach, especially with the use of the roles and responsibilities form. They do not rank applicants on their UCAT scores and a single cutoff point is used for all applicants. The total cutoff score was 2,280, so if you have anything above this cutoff score, you will be eligible to apply to Kiel. But like I said, this is based off the 2021 entry and the scores may change. Queen's University Belfast does not have a cutoff for their UCAT scores. Instead, scores are given to applicants banding of the UCAT score. Scores are also taken for their GCSE results and academics. Then a threshold is provided for interview. So in 2021, the threshold was 32 points and above. But as you can see, the threshold changes every year. Sunderland University have a similar approach to other universities listed. They base their candidates' performance on a range of factors, including the roles and responsibilities form, academic achievement, UCAT, etc. The main UCAT requirement that Sunderland have is that you should be within the top eight deciles of the cohort, and the SJT must be within the first three bands. 
Plymouth University have a UCAT threshold to determine whether candidates can get an interview. This changes every year, but as of 2022, the cutoff is 2,610. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys found it useful. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at The Med Studio.